welcome back to my channel and I hope you're doing well. Hello if you're new here, my name's Helen and I hope you stick around and enjoy my channel and this video. I've been actually following the Fast 800 diet the past two weeks so I've documented the first week and I wanted to check in and share now that I know that it's working for me and how I'm getting on with it. So if you haven't heard anything about the Fast 800, I have Dr. Michael Mosley. He actually had a TV program on a few weeks ago. I was on channel four. It was like lose a stone in 21 days, I think. But basically what got my eye to that kind of diet was I always struggle with like heavy foods. So like carbohydrates and like anything like heavy like bread like pasta rice wraps those kind of things I get so much like pain and I feel so bloated from it and this is me in my third week so I'm getting into my third week and what I've noticed is I don't have the bloating I don't have any pains and it's really really working for me so in my second week of weighing I've lost over 12 and a half pounds which is almost a stone if you follow that measurement which is amazing for me because I really struggled uh, drop the weight in a good fashion like I would be quite a healthy eater but I struggled to drop the weight so I'm so happy that I've lost 12 and a half pounds already and I've also lost seven and a half inches and that's in two weeks so I'm super happy like I don't feel deprived I don't feel hungry um you just kind of get into the way of eating so what I wanted to do was document uh, the process of this, this video is basically me showing you my first week on the diet. So what it is, is a fully 800 calorie diet a day. So I know people don't agree with it. I know 800 is super low, but in terms of what I need to be doing at the minute, and this was recommended to me, so I'm all good. If you don't agree with it, that's okay. And this is just my choice. So I wanted to put it out there at the beginning that this is my choice to be following this. Um, and I have been following uh, the science behind it and also the recommendations in his book. So I have his book and his recipe book. So basically what you do is you fast for 16 hours. So I turn, tend to fast until 12 in the day. So I'll fast from 8 p.m. until 12 the next day, which has been fine for me. I've also like cut out like milk and my coffee, things like that. Uh, you make simple changes. So basically what the diet relies around the science is it's a high protein, it's moderate fat, and then it's no carbohydrates and no sugar. So basically I've cut out all bread, all sugars, everything they can have like additional sugar in I don't have. I've cut out bread, rice, wraps, all those kind of things that you would have, potatoes, um, and replace them with like lettuce or mushrooms or I'll show you in this video there is a lot of like meal prep and meal plans because I wanted to be like honest in my first week about it with you guys I wanted to share you know the ups and downs of it there is a few side effects in terms of like being tired and your body adjusting to it it's basically like a, a keto lifestyle you've heard of the keto diet um which also gets mixed reviews but for me personally I find it's working so I wanted to share, so I'm totally in the swing of things, so I thought I wanted to make this video because if you, any of you guys have been watching that program on TV or just thought about like different methods of weight loss or lifestyle changes that you want to make, um, I wanted to just share what I've been up to and what's been working for me. So let's just jump on into it. Hi guys, so today is day one of this it's the eight week blood sugar diet i'm sure i've said in the intro but i don't have blood sugar problems like that's not why i'm on the diet i'm mainly on it just to give a bit of a kickstart into like weight loss and healthy eating and set myself on track so i'm doing this diet here it's by dr michael mosley it's the eight week blood sugar diet where you eat 800 calories per day which doesn't seem like a lot but when you can like portion it and you do like make nice tasty food then it should be fine. Hey guys so for this breakfast I'm having 100 grams of Greek yogurt, 70 grams of strawberries and 50 grams of blueberries, 10 grams of almonds that I'm toasting in a pan so the total for this one is 230 calories uh, yeah, but two small eggs just scrambled in the microwave with a dash of chili pepper, salt and pepper with 10 grams of feta cheese and two tomatoes. So this works out at less than 200 calories. Mm -hmm. 
So this was my dinner today. So I had broccoli and tomatoes, which I grilled with some peppers and some chili seasoned salmon. Hi guys, so it's day two at the minute. It's currently about one o'clock or half one. I'm just sitting at my desk, but this is my like daily thing I have where I'm gonna tick off every day that I complete the calorie like intake thing. So yeah, um, yesterday was fine. I realized like last night I was a bit hungry by like 10 o'clock, um, but I just had like loads of water. I've been filling this up and putting lemon in it. And then yesterday I also put some cucumber in it, so that was really nice. So I've been doing that. So uh, I'm actually not too hungry today. I think I showed you my breakfast. It was yogurt with blueberries and strawberries and nuts. So like the only difference I'm finding in the foods is you have to properly weigh them. So like everything is proper portion controlled, which is good in the sense of you don't realize how much you actually eat when it's not portion controlled, which is crazy. Um, but I'm hoping it makes a big difference. I don't feel tired today. I don't feel like lethargic. I don't feel any type of way. Um, I feel fine. So we'll continue with this. Um, I do my 800 calories. I'm also tracking it on my fitness pal, which is really, really helpful because you can put in how many grams you use and it gives you the exact amount of calories. I've also got a cute diary that I'll show you. Um, I got it yesterday, so I'll show you that. And yeah, day two, going well so far. Let's keep going so this was my breakfast today it was two boiled eggs cucumber 50 grams of smoked salmon and some lemon hi guys so this does not look appetizing but it's <laughs> half a tin of tuna um one raw beetroot like not the pickled one chili flakes and then i've got a few little jalapenos so this was 89 calories Hi guys, so this is tonight's dinner. So this is a portobello stuffed mushroom. I found the recipe online. It's really tasty because you coat the outside of it with like garlic and mixed herbs and some olive oil. So inside this is just 50 grams, uh, sorry, 25 grams mozzarella cheese and then some tomatoes. Then I have a serving of broccoli and then this is smoked mackerel. So this is my dinner and it's under 400 calories. Hi guys, so I've just made a 200 calorie omelet for breakfast. So it looks like this, it's got two eggs, it's got 50 grams of mushroom, 30 of feta cheese, and then some spinach and chives on top. So let's go and eat this. This morning I've only had a black coffee and some water. Hi guys, so it's day four, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon, but like I am really tired. I'm finding today a lot harder than yesterday. Um, I don't know why I'm just feeling like a lot hungrier I have cravings for things that like I wouldn't normally crave and I'm just gonna go for a nap I think if I have a nap it might help me out a bit um, I am feeling a lot hungrier I'm having loads of my water with lime I've got lime in it this I've also noticed a bit of like brain fog you know when you're trying to think and you can't string a sentence together um, but hopefully that passes but yeah I'm hungrier today but um, I got those ketogenic strips where you test tells you the the level of ketosis you're in and I'm in a high ketosis which is so good in day four so that means my body's in fat burning mode which is fab but I guess that's maybe to do with the changes I think that might be why I'm feeling like hungrier than usual and a bit more tired so I'm gonna have a nap and then I'll check back in and show you my dinner so these are the test strips i just ordered them off of amazon i'll link them below if you're interested but you can see the colors hi guys so i wanted to do a quick check-in today is day five and i feel a bit more lightheaded today um i feel good and i feel energized but i just feel a bit like woo. i think your body's craving carbs and i'm like craving stuff that i wouldn't normally even eat so <laughs> we just got to push through I've been researching and that's what it says like when you get to the end of the week of your first week you begin to like have cravings and you feel a bit lightheaded but we'll just work through it I'll let you know what I'm having for the rest of the day I had my eggs this morning which was good I prefer having that than having yogurt yogurt just doesn't fill me up so I'd recommend if you're doing it to have some boiled eggs or an omelette but yeah I'll check in later on Morning guys, so it's day five um, for breakfast. I'm having three boiled eggs, the medium sized eggs with some salt and pepper and a sprinkle of chives.
So my lunch today was two lettuce wraps with 100 grams of prawns and some chilli seasoning. Hi guys, so it's about 7 o'clock. I thought I'd do a check-in. Uh, I showed you those lettuce wraps with the prawns. I really like making prawns, filling them up with um, garlic and chilli flakes. Like, they're really nice. But I'm sitting just editing my video. Today has been a bit better than yesterday. It's still been rough. Like, I feel, like, dizzy, lightheaded, nausea... But I'm powering through, so I've researched it a bit and I feel like there's something called the keto flu that people get, which is where in the first week of going keto or doing this type of Mediterranean style diet that they get like headaches and they feel like nausea and lightheaded, which is definitely happening to me. So apparently it passes in a while, but we'll see. I'm finding the snacking, like I didn't even know I was a snacker until this because I can't snack. But we're all good, getting there. I'm gonna wait till eight o'clock and then have my dinner. And I'll probably check back in with you guys tomorrow. We're almost at the week mark. I'm so happy. And yeah, speak to you soon. So this is my dinner. It's cabbage, chicken breast, 100 grams, and then a few chestnut mushrooms, some spinach, and then I chopped up some chives and I squeezed lemon over it and some chili flakes. So this one is under 400 calories for my dinner. Today's breakfast I'm having is lettuce wraps. So I have a little damn lettuce at the bottom. I have two boiled eggs. I cut up one tomato and two mushrooms and then 15 grams of feta cheese. So this is 150 calories and I'm gonna go eat this because I'm hungry. So something that's really helped me keep on track is keeping a food diary. So I got this one from Home Bargains and basically you just write in your foods every day. Um, I have been doing it, as you can see, for a few weeks now. I have all my meals in here. And um, this one's really good because it has like your breakfast, lunch, dinner, your water, and then up the top, I write like total, and then 800 so that you have your 800 calories. So I really recommend keeping a food diary and keeping um, note of your measurements and things because it's easier then if you're making the same meal a few weeks later or a few days later you can just refer back to your book so totally recommend getting a food diary so like i said guys this is me going into my third week of following this plan because it's been working for me and i'm feeling so good um, if you've ever heard of the fast 800 and how it worked for yourselves i'd love to hear other people's experiences i have been watching other videos on it and how the people have been getting on and i totally relate to the mood swings and all at the beginning but it's totally worth it because you feel so good and I'm in my third week so I can't wait to see like after the eight weeks I think I'll do another check-in with you guys in a few weeks time it's a part of my life so I wanted to share you guys with it so anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys